I had no idea the British press was so bigoted. This one's wife. Is she in the comments again? Hello. I'm H.G. Tudor. Herb Scribner writes in the Washington Post, Are this one's wife and Buckingham Palace in a royal jam war? Or is this all a giant smear campaign? This article was written a week or so ago, whereby he poses... This one's wife, Duchess of Sussex and Buckingham Palace, have found themselves in a sticky situation. As this one's wife began sending out jams from her new lifestyle brand, American Riviera Orchard Retirement Homes, the palace touted its own spread, leading many to wonder if the two sides are engaged in a cold war over marmalades, or perhaps a bucking jam. <laughs> titter, titter. The release soon got messy. When the Buckingham Palace shop released an Instagram video Wednesday promoting its royal strawberry preserve, see parts pass him. Our strawberry preserve is made using only the finest berries and is delicious, served in a variety of ways, the palace said in its video caption. The palace's post was deemed by some as a smear campaign against this one's wife and her impending brand, which launched on social media last month. Many commenters said the palace was shading this one's wife. Wait, did the palace just suddenly troll Ms. Monty Shitshow, one ruser wrote? There was also some debate about which jam is better. Not long after, Chrissy Teigen Tegan Tigan, see parts pass him, shouted out the American Riviera Orchard Retirement Home Strawberry Jam in her own video post. Tegan Tegan Tigan and this one's wife worked on Deal or No Deal as briefcase girls for a short period. This might be one of the best bites we've had all year, Tegan Tegan Tigan captioned her video, which was set to the song Jamming by Bob Marley and the Wailers. It's not surprising internet sleuths believe this timeline is more than coincidence. This one's wife and Prince Harry announced in January 2020 that they would be stepping back from their roles as, and duties as senior members of the royal family. The post came roughly one month after this one's wife launched the American Riviera Orchard Retirement Homes, a Monte Shitshow California-based brand that conjures up memories of her blog The Tig or Richard Christiansen's Flamingo Estate. According to People, the brand filed a trademark application to sell tableware drinkware, including decanters, kitchen linens, and edible treats such as jelly, jams, marmalades, and spreads, and potentially cookbooks. Thus, there's a short article about the supposed jam war between this one's wife and Buckingham Palace. It's information that was repeated in other places and isn't particularly fascinating of itself. But... What is interesting is the conduct of a certain commenter in the, oddly enough, comment section. This person writes under Water Over Stone. Thus, somebody called Bifavra writes, So ridiculous. How about Royal or American Riviera Orchard Golden Sneakers? Low lives. Water Over Stone responds, I don't get it. You hate jam or jelly, if you will. How do you feel about peanut butter? If someone bakes and sells their own sourdough bread to properly finish off my virtual peanut butter and jelly, are you still going to cry ridiculous and labour them a low life? I mean, what kind of American are you? Triple exclamation mark. Complaining about one of those classic ingredients we so often haul to grade school inside our lunch boxes. Our cookies next on your chopping block. Me in the UK writes, Megzilla created this mess solely on her own. Arrogance that the houses of Windsor would cave in and cater to her narcissism was a bad move. Then failure to merge into the role by now, well-known poor behaviour meant only one thing. It should wind its neck in and go away. Water over stone jumps in. What in the world are you prattling on about? This one's wife is making jam, for goodness sake. That's about as innocent and homespun as it gets. She and Prince Harry stepped down as senior royals four years ago. Here in America, we refer to this as changing jobs and relocating. Because things weren't working out in one previous place of employment for whatever reason. Happens all the time. Families also have fallings out, breakups, divorces, estrangements. Happens all the time. Life goes on, at least for the rest of us. 
Four years ago, really, you do need to get a grip. The Sussex has made their decision. They're not coming back to the UK. They intend to keep pursuing their own dreams. And yes, this is one of them. And there's nothing you can do about it. Stop acting as though the two of them were slaves with no free will or agency because you're wrong. Stop acting as if the trashy gossip you've read about this one's wife in the British tabloids, arrogance, narcissism, poor behaviour has any legitimacy in the real world where those who actually know this one's wife have the most lovely things to say about her because you and those gossip rags are wrong. The Mad Scientist this one's wife as a person is self-important, rude, selfish, and bitter. She should keep her belligerent, self-pitying mouth shut. Water over stone leaps in once again. Please provide us with a direct quote or quotes from this one's wife herself, which will prove to all of us in no uncertain terms that she as a person is self-important, rude, selfish, and bitter. What exact words did she say, and when, where did she say them? The reason I'm asking you this is twofold. One, I've asked this very same thing of multiple commenters who have had nasty things to say about this one's wife in these WAPO chat rooms, and to date not one of them has been able to provide one iota of evidence. Not one, nobody. Typical lazy responses have been Google it, or for Prince Harry, where I basically asked the same thing, what were, her ex what were his exact words? Yesterday I was told, read his book, I have. What that person claimed was in it isn't in it. Two, maybe you'll surprise me, mad scientist. Maybe you know something I don't, because the only words that I've ever heard coming out of this one's wife's own mouth indicate that she's a kind, caring, and sweet person, exactly as those who know her well have told the world. The floor is yours, so knock yourself out. Evidently, this individual believes themselves to know this one's wife. Now, I've just read out a very small selection of the comments that have been placed by this individual that posts by the title of Water Over Stone. But as I'm talking, you'll be able to see on your screen post after post after post after post from this particular commenter who regularly runs to the defense of this one's wife with regard to seeking to debunk things that are said about her, espousing how beautiful she is, how talented she is, what a wonderful human being she is. It's almost like somebody's mother running to the defence of their child time and time again. You really would have to query, why would a member of the public be so invested in trying to support someone that they clearly have nothing to do with except... Perhaps they have. This one's wife was suspected of operating in the comments section of page six, writing his guest speaker, see parts pass him. And the content, the ferociousness that is exhibited in these comments by Water Over Stone might just raise the suspicion that this one's wife, and as we know, she has plenty of time on her hands as she doesn't have a proper job, that she has a staff that runs her house, that she has various employees that run Archwell, that to the extent you accept the children exist, there are nannies who look after them, and therefore she has a lot of time on her hands. We also know that as a middle mid-range narcissist, she needs to know what's being said about her. And therefore, the drive to control through knowing about herself and the fact that she has plenty of time on her hands results in the fact that she could well be haunting the comments section of particular publications, but not, not only to see what's said about her, but to try and argue with people to nullify the threat to control posed by all of these comments. As I'm talking, you can see that they just keep going. Comment after comment after comment. A considerable amount of time has been dedicated to, by this individual who claims that they are retired, which in a sense is a description that could fit this one's wife. Now, I'll leave it up to you to make a determination as to whether you think this might well be this one's wife masquerading as water over the stone and defending herself in the comments section. Is this something that a narcissist might do? Absolutely. 
Narcissists will regularly go to different places posing as people besides themselves to then talk about themselves in a favourable way. They will create new profiles and talk about the individual themselves as if they're somebody that they know and will defend them, will smear other people. It happens regularly. And given the fact that this one's wife as a petty middle-mid-range narcissist who frequently is spoken about below the line and receives many threats to her control and with someone who has a huge amount of time on her hands, it's entirely conceivable that a narcissist would engage in this kind of behaviour. The comments get to her. She loves being talked about, that's fuel, but she can't stand criticism. She can't shake it off particularly well. Because she truly believes that she's a kind and decent and empathic person and to suggest otherwise really gets under her skin. She believes that she's a hugely successful entrepreneur and businesswoman. To suggest otherwise gets under her skin. To suggest that she's a grifter really annoys her. And therefore she needs to do things to nullify those threats to control. And one way of doing so would be to try and nullify them directly by posing as another commenter and arguing with people in an online environment. More evolved narcissists simply wouldn't bother with this. They wouldn't be looking in the first place for most of the time, or where such comment might come to their attention, they'd just laugh at it and then get on with something far more productive, thus asserting control by staying in a position of withdrawal with regard to the adverse comments. They don't need to, li don't need to bother themselves with the rantings of the little people. But someone like this one's wife not particularly intelligent and of middle-mid-range status, would get drawn into such arguments, and, having a lot of time on her hands, could well spend an entire afternoon sat with the laptop balanced on unsold copies of the bench, hammering away, seeking to nullify those threats to control directly by commenting about herself favourably and trying to debunk all criticisms of her. You can see what's written, you can make your own mind up as to whether you think that it's her, but from seen from the narcissistic perspective, it's certainly something that this one's wife could well engage in. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.